Hello everyone, welcome to the config and tech video for Penumbra 2 Black Plague. Keep my screens open here for us. So I've got my install folder on the left over here with the files for Black Plague and Requiem. I've got my notes over here of what we'll go over. In this video we will be setting up Penumbra 2 Black Plague, general settings and advanced where needed. We'll also be covering the expansion slash DLC content called Requiem that comes with Black Plague. These two games share the same install folder, but they have separate setting.cfg files. This will hopefully put the games in the best playable state they can be. Then there will be a modding video that follows this video. Any links that are covered in this video will be in the description below. So some things may look different over here for you because I only have visible the files that are important. Um, these are not important um, for us to cover uh, in this video. So I've just hidden them um, so they're not a distraction uh, to me or you during the course of this video. So this file up here is just shortcuts I'm going to be referencing to for the sake of this video, so you're not going to have this folder. So that's the explanation of this. Um, and we'll just get right into it here. So the first thing here is the audio video configuration. And this is going to be a pre-first game run, so kind of a pre-setup. Um, you will need two audio related files that I will provide a link to in this video. You'll also need an updated OpenAL or OALINST.exe, which is this file right here. The link goes directly to my Google Drive and is safe, virus free. The file is called penumbra underscore black plague underscore requiem underscore audio dot rar. These files are needed to make audio work correctly in the game. If you don't use them, then expect things to not work correctly. So install the OpenAL with the OALINST.exe from the rar. Once that's done, then put the two audio files, the .dll files, in the following folder. Overwrite files if prompted. Antivirus may freak out because they are .dll files. So you'll want to go to this path right here, which is what we are looking at here. And I went ahead and put this file in here. And then the other two files you should have will be these two. And this is just for my reference, but uh, this link will be uh, in the description of this video so that you can download um, these files to set up the audio correctly. So you'll want to run this file first to install the uh, OpenAL program. And then you just drag and drop these two into your main folder where your Penumbra dot exe and requiem dot exe are. So regarding the open AL, let's run the game first. So after you've done that, when running the game the first time, if it prompts you to install open AL, don't do it. We already installed an updated version. Once in the game, configure any settings you want to in the options of the game. We will be going over them towards the end, though. Let me do the video adjustments here. When you first run the game, you may encounter a title screen that is zoomed in and cut off. It could also be small in the left corner of the screen. If so, then exit the game or Alt F4 if you can't see the menu options. Right-click the penumbra.exe and the requiem.exe in the install folder separately. So we'll start with this one. You want to go to Properties. 
and then you'll click the compatibility tab click change high DPI settings down here check the box under override high DPI scaling behavior right here uh, choose scaling performed by application in the drop down then click OK and apply Do this for both executable files the same exact way. Go to each one, go to change high DPI, make sure this is checked, and then select application. OK and apply. Run the game again, and the title screen should look normal now. I've applied this um, setting to both of mine as well. Sound adjustments. In sound settings of Black Plague and Requiem, it looks a little different than in Penumbra 1 Overture. Use hardware is still there, but there is also an EFX setting. It is environmental sound effects, which will provide echo and reverb. You will also notice that it does not show your audio sound device listed. That's just the way it is in the game. Turn on Use Hardware and EFX. Exit the game to save settings. Restart the game and look and see that the settings are still applied. Then exit the game once more. So these settings should be uh, selectable and adjustable, all considering that you have installed the OpenAL and applied the correct files which will in turn give you the best quality sound in the game. Okay, so next thing here is the settings.cfg and other adjustments. So open these folders. Um, this will be the path. You'll need to put your own username here. Um, so put that in there and replace this. You'll have a settings or a folder that uh, you're going to go to for Black Plague and Requiem to adjust the settings.cfg for each one. And here you want to open that file now. So I'll go to my shortcut for Black Plague. So when you open these uh, folder paths, this is what you'll see. And then this is my settings file. Actually, I'll just open that in normal notepad so I can have both of these visible. Okay. Look for the line use sound hardware equals. So I'm just going to copy this. Go over here in the note. Press Control F to search and then paste. Then you'll find it um, come up down here. Make sure it says true, not false. And then the same thing here, we want to look for this. Use environmental audio. Same thing, make sure that it says true, not false. This next line uh, will already be there if things are working. If not, you will have to manually add it. Search for device name equals. Um, let's see if I can just type that and get it. There it is. So it's this whole segment here. Open AL soft and then uh, on your device name. So whatever your device name is, in my case, it's uh, Razer 7.1 THX Spatial blah blah blah. Uh, put it at the end of the stuff about audio settings. Just make sure you end it with this little thing here. You need to space 
after the quote, and then you need to write that. Save and exit the settings.cfg. And if you need to determine what your uh, sound option is called, uh, go down to your um, speaker icon, and if you left click it, it should come up and tell you right here what it's titled, and it needs to match this with whatever you write in the file. And that will be your active uh, audio input. Okay, so we don't actually need to uh, exit yet because we need to look for something else. So once you uh, get that done, then you want to search for Allow Quick Saves. And this is going to be back at the very top up here. Make sure that is on True. Um, the keybinds will be the F4 key to quick save and the F5 key to quick load. So this will enable quick saving and quick loading. Okay, these are some other options you will see listed in here that you can also search for. So you can pick, you can pick like that one here, Control F. Let's see what my option is. So simple swing, uh, simple weapon swing makes it easier for weapon attacks and so does simple swing and options. Um, just make sure both of those are set to true. Uh, show pre, menu, intro, and menu. These uh, pre menu and intro are for the introduction videos. If you set the pre menu one to false, it will skip the little intro logos. And you definitely don't want to. Uh, put show menu on false because then you can't select <laughs> options to start the game or load your game. VSync uh, false, FPS screen tearing. I'm using NVIDIA to handle VSync. Um, I recommend you do the same uh, either through NVIDIA or AMD. So just set your VSync uh, to false. And we'll just double check here that Yep, so you can see mine is set to false. Limit FPS true. Same thing will apply to this. Um, controlling your FPS and screen tearing aspects. Use this setting regardless of your VSync method. I suggest going into your NVIDIA or AMD GPU settings and turning on triple buffering. Triple buffering helps performance with games that are running OpenGL, which all the Panama games are. If you are using NVIDIA or AMD, AMD just use VSync and settings as well. Just make sure your VSync is not on in the game if using NVIDIA or AMD setting. So I will show you how to do that. Close out with this. So I have NVIDIA, so I'm going to open my control panel, go over here to uh, the game. So what you'll have to do is, if you've run the game, if you've ran the game recently, um, you can look for it through the drop down, but if you ran the game recently, click add and you'll see it come up in the list. Um, scroll here so there's overture has its own executable as well and it's also called penumbra.exe and black plagues exe is called penumbra.exe as well it's not called black plague.exe like it should be but either way if you configure settings in here for one penumbra.exe it will affect the other one as well so you only have to do it once because it sees it as being named the same, so it uses the same setting. 
Requiem has its own separate one, so you will need to do this for both uh, penumbra.exe and Requiem. So if you pick it and add it to the list here, when you scroll down to the bottom, I have triple buffering, which I've set on, and then vsync, which I've set on. So this is what I would advise you to do for all three games, Overture, Black Plague, and Requiem. Triple buffering is not a setting that you can turn on or off in the game. You're just forcing it through your graphics card. But as I stated, make sure your vsync is set to off uh, in the game. You don't want both uh, vsync to be on in the game and also being forced through NVIDIA. Uh, pick one or the other, but I advise you to go ahead and use your graphics card to force it on, since I advise you to come in here and also turn on triple buffering. So that is my recommendation on that. Notes, a little extra notes here. This game is old and sometimes crashes at startup. Just exit, crash, pop up and restart the game again. I recommend quick saving when playing, not just for the quick loading benefit, but for keeping your progress due to unexpected crash. Um, it's recommended to lock your FPS to 60 using this limit FPS and VSync. So physics and animations work normally. The game was designed for 60 FPS. Options. So now we will uh, go over the in-game settings, explaining and showing how to configure them. The settings below are the same between Black Plague and Requiem. They need uh, to both be configured separately though. So the first setting you'll see or, or category is controls. And in controls you'll have invert mouse Y axis. Um, leave that off unless you want when you move your mouse up uh, in the game to make your character look down then you would want it on but that's kind of the opposite way so defaults off leave it off mouse sensitivity I'm going with around 2.2 uh, which I may have to adjust once I'm in the game but that's what I'm starting with um, that's just my main adjustment and then any other adjustments I'm using my DPI settings through my mouse um, itself. So pick your preference on that. It may vary uh, from 2.2. You may need higher or lower. Change your key mappings for movements, actions, and miscellaneous controls. Pick your preferences for these. I'll go over keybinds and controls of the game once we're in it and playing it. Your next category of uh, settings is game. And then in there is language. Pick your preference here. Subtitles, so I usually always have them on if they're available. Voice language, pick your preference. Difficulty, pick your preference. We'll be playing on normal. Simple swing, I recommend having this on just to make uh, using your melee weapons uh, easier. Show crosshair, uh, I recommend this on just so that you can, you know, see what you're clicking on and to be more uh, particular with where you're interacting with on the screen. Flashing items on, uh, things that you can pick up and interact with uh, item-wise will flash uh, to let you know they're there. Add personal notes on. Um, I forget what this does exactly. But I advise you to leave it on. Next category is sound. Sound volume 100%. Use hardware on and EFX on. These will give you the best uh, options for sound. Next category of settings is graphics. Uh, resolution. Pick your resolution here. Noise filter. Uh, this is the same as uh, film grain. Uh, I advise to have this off. Bloom, I advise to have on. Gamma, I'm going with 1.5. Pick your preference here. You may need to go uh, higher or lower depending on your setup. Shader quality, high. Then the next uh, section also within the graphics uh, settings is uh, advanced. 
So it's advanced settings for graphics. Texture quality, set this to high, put your shadows on, post effects on, motion blur I recommend off as it just adds blur to the graphics when you move your character in the game world. VSync uh, off, force on through NVIDIA or AMD GPU controls as we've already discussed. Texture filtering, trilinear will be the highest option, so pick that. Uh, anastropic filtering, basically, uh, put that on 16x. Anti-aliasing, um, I recommend off. The game uses FSAA. Either force it on through NVIDIA or AMD GPU controls. Uh, I will be using Reshade uh, to inject SMAA. I'll also show you here how to do that through your graphics card. Go back into NVIDIA once again. So yeah, by the way, uh, here you need to go to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. And so if you want to use uh, your GPU to force uh, anti-aliasing you need to go down here and click on anti-aliasing mode and put this on override and then you'll want to go to anti-aliasing setting and bump this all the way from 2x to 8x and click apply and this will just give you standard anti-aliasing and you can use this method in uh, any game that you want to if you play an old school game say and there's no options anywhere that you can adjust. Um, it doesn't mean it doesn't have any applied, but if it looks really jagged and terrible, go ahead and force it on through here. Or if you're positive, the game offers no anti-aliasing, which is usually pretty rare these days. Uh, this is how you would turn this on in any game. Some games will not give you the option to override. You'll only be able to enhance, but if you get the option to pick, uh, always pick override. So I'm not going to be doing this method because I'm using reshade. Depth of field, I recommend off. Uh, if it's on, it will blur things, um, usually in the background when it wants to focus on things in the foreground. I just really don't like any blur in my games, so uh, I turn that off. Uh, refractions on. This, uh, this relates to either reflections of light um, on glass surfaces, but it may also reflect be uh, reflections of light on uh, water surfaces, which I think may be what it is. Either way, you want it on because it'll give you better um, better effects. Um, let's see, anything else I want to cover here? These are going to be for the modding video. Uh, I can show you the zip file here for the audio. This is what it'll look like for the audio fix. And then here's the three files, including a README, which we can go ahead and open. Yeah, so the Steam version they uh, include with the game is 2.0.3.0 and the updated version is 2.0.7.0. So same thing I've already explained to you. And you can see what the file structure looks like. We'll get to this other stuff here um, that will apply in the modding video. So we'll finish this video by going into the game directly. I'll run down the settings we just covered with you here as far as the in-game settings. Uh, this in-game segment will just cover Black Plague, um, but you'll also need to uh, set up Requiem the same way. I'm just not going to cover it because the settings are the same. So in the next video we'll go over the modding stuff. I'm going to do a quick edit cut here in this video and then we'll see you in the game. So thank you for watching this, and we'll see you there. Bye.
Hello everybody, welcome to the in-game portion of the Config and Tech video for Penumbra 2 Black Plague. I'm just going to go through the options real quick. Controls. So here's your invert mouse, your mouse sensitivity. You change key mappings. You can see what I have set. We'll go over controls in more detail when we're in the gameplay videos. And in Black Plague and Requiem, uh, you're able to rotate items that you pick up in the game. Uh, I don't think you could do that in Overture, so that's a new uh, new feature. So controls, and under Game, these are my settings right for Game. Sound. Graphics. And the advanced option. And yeah, if you hover over everything, you get a little description of uh, what it does or doesn't do. So not much more to say than what I've already said. Um, in the beginning part of this video, but I wanted to give a visual representation of the options. And that pretty much covers the settings and these will all apply uh, and look mostly the same in uh, uh, Requiem as well. So I'm not gonna show that. So thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the modding video next. Thank you.